Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So if you're watching any of my videos, you know that on July 10th, we are going on the Disney Wish. We were winners of the Year of Wishes. And if you wanna hear all about that, go back to the first video in this series, which was on the rotational dining. Talk a little bit about it. But in a nutshell, we were uh, Year of Wishes winners and we are going on the inaugural sailing from July 10th through the 13th. Now, just announced since I filmed the other videos, they are having the christening on June 29th and there will also be a christening sailing that I knew of already, which is uh, June 29th through the July 2nd. So so that is when we're going to start seeing things of the actual ship. Um, I know there's been somewhat of a moratorium. I actually know some people that are shooting um, and were casted to uh, do the transatlantic and shoot some you know, commercials and print and everything, but they are not allowed to film anything of the ship or at least not uh, post it until after the moratorium, which I believe is June 29th. So June 29th is when we're going to start seeing things. Um, there is a sailing before ours, and then there will be our sailing, which is on um, July 10th to the 13th. So really excited about that, but let's go ahead and talk about today's topic. Okay, so today's topic is going to be all about the Hero Zone. So the Hero Zone, it's, it's just an interesting uh, concept. So it looks like um, when the Hero Zone is not set up, it looks a lot like the Playplex um, from the Odyssey that we were on. Looks for the, At least the renderings looks a lot like that area um, when the bumper cars run around because it's kind of two levels. You can kind of look into the area. There's basketball courts. So it says when the hero zone isn't all decked out in superhero gear it will be a free play hub where guests can enjoy some friendly competition with basketball soccer and a variety of tabletop games including ping pong air hockey foosball and shuffleboard so that looks like a really cool area um i know my son is going to love that my son is obsessed with air hockey i'm assuming it's going to be part of the arcade um so but i i just and i know my my husband loves basketball so it'll be a fun area to to play around with um it'll be interesting to see if they do the incredit games when we're there how often it's there it's i i know with the on the odyssey of the seas it was three hours a day when it was set up for the um for the bumper cars. So it was three hours a day and it took about an hour to set up or yeah, about an hour to be setting up and then to break it down was a little bit faster. So it'll be interesting to see how long it's, um, the Encreta games are set up, how often they do that. Obviously our sailing is going to be comparable probably to the typical weekend Friday to Monday sailings because we are doing a three night sailing. Once the wish gets into its regular sailings, it's typically going to be a three and four night, which is what the dream did. So, but that is what it's not the hero zone. Now, a couple other things to add about the hero zone. It said that it's a futuristic sports arena where physical activity will blend with imagination during action packed challenges and game show style competitions for families to take on together. And the hero zone is going to be on deck 12 in the aft. And then it says introducing the Incredi games inspired by dynamic characters of Pixar's The Incredibles. This highly interactive, imaginatively produced game show will dare families to take on incredible obstacle course with over-the-top physical challenges and to theme to powers of the Par family heroes and their good friend Frozo, no capes required. Um, and it says heroes will first test their strength by busting through a brick wall, and it says brick wall, um, during Mr. Incredible's power punch, and then Jack Jack's whack a rack will pit players against Rocky and his raccoon friends who you might remember from The Incredibles 2. And then only the most flexible families will conquer the twists and turns of Elastigirl's stretch o -rama. And then family speedsters will be the front runners of the Dash Mad Dash Mayhem. And then uh, Violet's force field swing will send superheroes soaring across a lava field. Um, and remember, we are only using our e incredible imaginations. And then the strong finish will include a cool down on Frozone's ice slide, where heroes will ascend to the highest peak 
uh, and slide down the icy slope to victory. So that sounds like a lot of fun. Now my son is only six. He's six, well, he's six and a half because you know the half really matters. And um, you know, but my husband, we're actually all pretty competitive. Uh, I think my husband and I are probably more competitive than my son is at this point, but I would really love to do this. It'll be interesting to see, do they kind of just lump everybody together? Is it, um, it, you know, is it kind of one everybody wins? It's just like kind of like a challenge or is there actually a competition? So I'm really curious to see how that is going to be done. Is it broken up in age groups if it is a competition? And then um, just kind of, you know, even if it's just an obstacle course, it just sounds like a lot of fun and it sounds like it's something that it's not just for the kids that the parents can do too. Now it says this game show style experience will feature high energy hosts, adrenaline pumping music, special effects, and more that will have our guests saying that was totally wicked, um, in case you didn't know, and which means it will just um, it will be just as enjoyable and, and entertaining for those who choose to watch from the sidelines as those who are immersed in the action. Hero Zone has plenty of balcony viewing space, which is what I was talking about, and for spectators to admire the fearless feats of their fellow cruisers. So again, this is something I totally want to do. It just sounds like so much fun. Um, it just, it, again, it just sounds like a lot of fun. And then finally it says, but um, those aren't the only, so there's other things that are going to be taking place in um, the in this hero zone. Um, but those aren't the only heroics in store for this action packed arena. Hero zone will also be the new home of a guest favorite Disney Cruise Line experience, the Jack Jack's Incredible Diaper Dash. I am so bummed. My son was one when we went on the first time we ever went on Disney Cruise and I was clueless. If you ever know, if you ever watched that video, 10 things I wish I knew before I went on a Disney cruise. It was just, I was overwhelmed. I really didn't have a lot of research, um, but definitely watch it. And my son was still crawling at the time. He, I would have loved to have done that. I didn't know about it. And we were just probably overwhelmed, um, but I wish we had done it. And it's always fun to watch. Um, and some kids come all decked out too. Now with more fanfare than ever before, this beloved competition will offer terrific tots the chance to compete for the coveted title of Diaper Dash Champion as they speed crawl across a 20 foot track amid the cheers and chuckles of family, friends, and adoring fans. So again, this was something that took place in the atrium. I know I saw it on the magic when we were on, it took place in the, in the atrium and it's just, it's a lot of fun to watch. Um, so now it's got like its own arena. It's gonna be, uh, you know, I, I would think a lot more people are gonna be watching this diaper dash. Um, and then let's see, it also says, um, oh, and then it talks about the other events that um, when it's not the Increda, you know, zone or the Increda, what is it called again? The Increda Games. <laughs> then it's just going to be the Hero Zone. So this is everything that is going to be taking place in the Hero Zone. It sounds like a lot of fun. Again, I'm, I will be posting as much as I can. And one of the things I'll be coming back with on this specific area is what's the times? Like, what are the times? Do they have the diaper dash? You know, that's something that they do at a certain time. Um, but the Incredible Games, how often are they doing them? You know, is it, what's the sign up like? Do they fill up? You know, do you have to sign up before and it fills up and you're out of luck? Like, that's the stuff that I would want to know if I was going on the wish because this is something we would absolutely want to do. So that's the information that I will definitely be providing when I get back and it's fine trying to find out as much information as possible because I think that's information that families um, just like mine are going to want to know. So uh, the next video is going to be, the next video I do about this is going to be um, about the kids club. It was going to combine together, but there's so much information about um, the Adventure Ocean that I could not put it into one video. So this is a separate video that is coming next. And with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. And I will be posting a lot coming up July 10th. I will be going live from the Disney Wish at some point on July 10th. Not sure how much I can post on the ship. I will post as much as I can. And I will be doing at least two raffles. So I'll be doing two raffles, um, one for my Patreon subscribe. Uh, uh, supporters and then one for everybody and that will be more information after the cruise because I don't know what I will be able to purchase that will be Disney wish specific so with that bye everyone